Hello everyone, alright, so last video we made customized text for our characters, and now we're just going to make it where, after the config has already been created, we have a nice easy way to further change it and alter it, in case we want to change the appearance of a character's text on the fly. This is going to be done straight within our character class, because since it's just text related, it'll apply to every single character. And these are going to be really simple commands, like very simple. Let's start by doing something to change the name color. So public void, and let's go ahead and set go ahead and set the name color and this color color so a one liner to go straight to config dot name color and set that equal to the color that's been provided. Easy as that. Duplicate that, and let's change this to set dialog color as a config dot dialog color equals color. Let's go ahead and copy both of these and make it where we can set the font now. So set name font and set dialog font. And go ahead and change this from color to tmp font asset font as well as for the dialog and change this to name font and this to dialog font and both of these colors to font. Now, these lines are not going to do anything on their own except change what's in the configuration for this character. So, this will not change it on screen until the next time they start speaking. But if we want to force that to update, then we can go ahead and make a new function, public void, and call this update text customizations on screen. And what this is basically going to do is going to be a one-liner that reaches out to the dialog system and basically performs just this action, that action right now. We're just going to go ahead and apply the speaker data to name, which I should change to config since we've already got that. And then inside of say, we just reference update text customizations on screen. And so if we're ever in the middle of something and we change these values and we want to immediately update it, we just call this function. So Ellen's going to speak with her default lines, but then I'm also going to say Ellen dot set name color to color dot red and Ellen dot set dialog color to color dot green. And then for the font, I'm just going to make a temporary variable up here for public TMP font asset temp font and say ellen.set name font to temp font ellen.set dialog font to temp font as well. And then we'll just do the same thing. Yield return ellen dot say lines and view the changes to her configuration. In character testing, let me go ahead and give her something. Let's go with, um, well, Waltograph is going to be very obvious. So let's try that. Let's watch it change her color and her font. So she's running her default font and colors here. And then we run the commands and it changes. Awesome. So we see that work on the fly. But what about resetting to her original values? Because now that is changed in her configuration. It's not changed within the original config because all we did was create a copy. But we may want to revert the config that's currently applied to her character instance back to what is originally defined in the asset. And so that's pretty simple too. All we're going to do is say public void reset configuration data one liner all we're going to do is say config equals character manager dot instance dot get character config by this character name and so that's going to reach back out find them in the dictionary and return a copy of the original data and just reset their configuration which means once more after ellen says this ellen dot reset configuration data and yield return ln dot 
say lines one more time. Okay, so we start off with our original values and then it changes and then it resets to the original configuration. And that's really all the configuration and features that we need for basic text characters. They don't need to do much, they just need to talk. So we're going to go ahead and move on to sprite characters in the next video and they are going to be a lot more interesting. We'll perform that in the next episode and when we get there, I'll see you guys then.